Oh, yes! Look at your hair! Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Here I am again, completely barefaced, not an ounce of makeup on my face, just moisturized, but don't worry, we're not doing another testing products out video, <laughs> even though I did have a really good time filming that. So today, as you can see, I am in the process of getting ready, and as the majority of you know, I lost like half of the length of my hair when I took out my micro link extensions, which was a very, very sad day. <laughs> my hair was so long naturally, well, long for me, I'm sure short still for a lot of other people who just so happen to have the gene that allows your hair to grow really fast, really quickly. Y'all, are lucky okay <laughs> so anyways I stumbled upon my extensions that I made myself yes I DIY'd the crap <laughs> out of a set of clip-in extensions so of course because of the tragic hair accident I was very happy to stumble upon them and I said why not make a video I can show you guys the awesome extensions that I made and I can also show you how I put them in. <laughs> so I made my clip-in extensions out of sewn wefts of hair like this. Nice and curly, so soft, because you know your girl's got very curly hair so the extensions had to match naturally. So I went with this beautiful dark brown, chestnut brown color. And the bonus was I actually got this package of hair on sale at Sally Beauty. So that's always a plus. <laughs> this is the package that the hair came in. And why I really, really actually ended up liking this pack of hair best was because it came with 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch, and 16 inch bundles of sewn wefts. I believe this pack you could actually use to make a wig because it also had a extra piece down here um, and they call that the parting closure. So it looked like a part with, you know, hair on both sides. It was uh, lace in the part. So I didn't have a use for that, so I just tossed it in the garbage. So keep your eye open at your local Sally's because you'd be surprised at the wonderful things you could find. Because if you've worn hair extensions before or wore them a lot, you know that some clip-in extension bundles can be pretty pricey. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you guys my clip-in extensions that I made. The best thing about making your own clip-in extensions is you can totally customize them to you and what you want. So I was able to make all sections that fit my head, the placement of my head, I could put clips where it felt right. It was amazing. So I have this weft here. It is a four clip weft. Now, I'm sorry, one clip fell off, so I'll have to reattach it. But there's your one, two, three, and the fourth one would go right here. Then I made a few two clip wefts. Now, these each are two clips, but one is longer than the other one because I felt like I didn't really need to add a third clip on here because this guy goes at the very bottom, like at the nape of my neck. And here is a close-up at how the clips are on. I chose to sew them because then they last a lot longer and they're a lot sturdier. 
Um, you can super glue them on, but then they don't really last as long and they fall off. That's actually why this fourth clip fell off because I wanted to test out like the stability of super gluing the clips on instead of sewing them because obviously super gluing them on is going to be way faster, but no, sewing is the best bet. And last but not least, I have the single clip wefts. So if you guys want a tutorial on how I did this magical, beautiful DIY clip and extensions, you know the drill, let me know down below. <laughs> now that we're all up close and personal, what's up? <laughs> Let's throw these bad boys in. So I grabbed five of the wefts because sometimes I don't even use five out of the, I believe there was seven wefts that I made. So the first piece that I'm going to put in is the super thick double clip. Okay, so here's my hair. So I'm gonna take the sides and just hold them forward because they don't really matter. And then I'm gonna take about an inch from the bottom of my hairline. It's going to be a little bit tangly because it's so super curly. And then I'm going to use a little duck clip. And then I'm going to stick my first extra thick weft into my hair like that then I'm going to let that down right above where my ears are and I'm going to separate my hair like I said sorry it's gonna be tangly because it's very curly <laughs> pin that up and your parts don't have to be exactly straight so now with the longest weft, I am going to place the clips My nail got stuck. And then I'm going to let that guy go. I'm going to move to this side. But I'm going to grab my mirror so I can see. So with the side, I'm going to take a section about an inch above my ear. And pin that up like that. And then I'm going to use a one clip weft and put that right up there. So that is perfect. There's a little bit of short hair underneath, but we can blend that later. No big deal. A little higher on this section of my hair here. I am going to section it almost at where my center part would be, but not quite. And then I'm going to clip that to the side. Then I'm going to take my double clip weft and put it right on this section. Not too close to the front, but you know close enough and close it on there take the clip out throw your hair back over mess it up a little bit yes honey so this is what it's looking like so far i love it i love having big poofy curly hair oh i love it i love it <laughs> So now we're going to do this poor side here and he's only going to get one clip. So I'm going to section this piece off right here. 
just lay him to the side there. And then I'm going to take my one clip weft, the last one, and I'm going to stick him right in the center, almost right above my ear. And close that down. Take my hair, throw it over, get the mirror. So once you fixed your hair up and you know, you messed it and fixed it and puffed it. So my hair is all fixed and ready. So this is my hair with the extensions. So I got some of my length back, which is awesome. And here is my thick side because my part parts over into this side. So this, that's why I like to put more wefts in this side. So it like, you know, balances out with where my hair is parted and voila. I love it. I'm so happy. I would have completely forgot about these if this tragic accident <laughs> didn't happen to my hair. <laughs> so there's my length. I got a little bit back because normally the curls would be right up to there. So that's a couple inches. And oh, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Well guys, that concludes my DIY extensions and how I install them. <laughs> and like I said, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I made these, let me know down in the comments because you should know by now that I love to do and make things that we all can enjoy. <laughs> so before I go, I'll give you one quick back shot of the extensions. There's all the hair. I love it. <laughs> and it worked out perfect that the curls and the color and everything just worked out perfectly. It matched perfectly. The texture was good, everything. And to boot, I got the entire pack for like 40 bucks on sale and it's not human hair or anything but you can like straighten it you can curl it only to a certain temperature but who cares if you're only spending 40 bucks and you're getting a custom that's pretty important a custom clip-in extension set that's amazing <laughs> So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the fam. I would love to have you. And creep my socials. They're always linked down below. So use them. Well, guys, I'm going to get going and finish getting ready. <laughs> but don't you worry. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye, guys. Look at your head. You have so much hair again Hair makes me so happy <laughs> Oh my gosh Oh my gosh It was recording the whole time I was right feeling my jam too Oh my god Yeah, bye